All right, who's that? Do I got a wipe? I got toilet paper and baby wipes. Yeah, you got me this BOTB. Huh? BOTB. BOTB? Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me switch glasses. BOTB. What do you not understand? The same group that's using other artists to promote their team. Yes. The same artist that's supposed to promote other artists, but can't even promote themselves because yeah. they're not big enough to do yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. The same group who used a blind man's clout to create the group. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, shit. Well, today's going to be a long day. Hello, guys. Loopy here. And uh, today I'm going to explain my side of the story in this whole um, BOCB thing. Now, I'm not part of the whole drama that's happening right now, but I have had experiences with BOTB and uh, the leaders, actually. That's, that's my experience with them, and I'm going to explain it. Um, now, I'm going to explain it in three points, um, which I called red flags because that's exactly what it is. It's a red flag, like knowing that, you know, something's going on, so... Uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna check this out so i have sent dms to someone about it and i'm gonna kind of use that to express myself um and you know get my point across a lot quicker so if you see me reading my phone then you'll know why all right you'll probably see the reflection of my glasses i don't know but uh let's check all right so this dates all the way back to january when i joined the blindside squad server and um I was greatly welcomed by both Jen and Casual, who are the leaders of BOTB. I don't even think the group exists anymore. Um, but they were managing the Blindside Squad server, because if you know Blindside, then you'll know why they m managed the server. Anyways, um, the server just didn't look presentable at all. It honestly seemed as if my dog would just fall asleep on his keyboard try and make something and just leave it like that and that's what it looked like so that's why i was like hey can i help with you like guys setting the server up because yes it was relatively new but the server's been out for like five hours and no like true change has been made to the server until i came along so i asked to be mod nicely you know because i was friends with everybody <clears throat> and um i i helped the server become as you know as presentable as possible and um you know put channels where you know it, if you want to look at reactions to blindsight or his songs or people who are reacting to blindsight or re blindsight <laughs> reacting to people or whatever anything that is blindsight would be under an important category so I helped the I helped the server become you know as presentable as possible, and um, you know it was all good. Now the first red flag was when I saw Casual making channels that lead him straight to all his songs, reaction, and links. You know, go figure. I mean, it's Blindsight server yet Casual is making Blindsight server about him, and Jen eventually you know pushed that around more than you know blindsight because blindsight was you know getting an ep out back then and all i saw was one link right like i didn't see like much effort from jen with like pushing the ep and i saw more effort from jen of pushing out casual cheater in the server and i i i, I think they got a thing for each other i don't know but you know i did hear th some things but i'm just gonna leave it at that anyways um, <clears throat> Jen was pushing that more than she was pushing Blindsight at the time, and all of a sudden, BOTB popped up. So, BOTB, the group, was created based off of Blindsight's clout and fan base and community, or whatever you want to call it. So, that's what I believe. I believe that BOTB was created based off of Jen and Casual using Blindsight's clout to make, you know, this group. Now this gets weird. Uh, second red flag was when I got permanently unmodded because I pointed out publicly that Jen modded me on accident, which to their eyes was like that it meant like it was not responsible of me or something like that. I don't know, but they, they made it seem like it was probably like the worst thing that I've ever done. Like I said, hey, I got unmodded 
what happened in general chat instead of actually saying it to them pub like privately that is probably like the worst thing i've ever done yet i got permanently modded then you know age was also like a factor in this like i'm 15 i've been using discord since i was 11 i've been running discord servers ever since i know what i'm doing <laughs> right and anytime even when i'm not mod anytime they would need help they would call me no one else me they would just call me and i was fine with it because i knew that it would help blindside server but then i realized that you know they were kind of using blindside's you know sort of following to make this botb and <clears throat> i wasn't really okay with it but i didn't say anything i kept my mouth shut and that's it i did almost join botb but i will talk about this in the end so a uh, third red flag um this gets good my good friend and beat maker for some of my music, Jim from the pharmacy, you might know him, gets banned off of the blindside squad for being inappropriate and they quote it as one of the worst things he said was, Rain has a small pee pee. Now, I want you to picture this for a second. Imagine you are owning a Discord server with at least 100 people. You are the manager of this Discord server and one of the moderators tells another moderator no, no, he wasn't even a moderator. He was just one of the artists tells a moderator that he has a small pee pee. You're going to actually ban that person for saying that he has a small pee pee. Like, joke or not, like, I was confirmed by Jim and seeing Jim, like, I know, like, sarcasm when I see it, all right? <clears throat> I know. Like, I, I have a pretty good sense of humor. So when I see that Jim said Rain got a small PP, and that Jen actually took that seriously and banned Jim for that, that's when I just laughed and left. But it's it's not all that there was, but uh, let me explain. So he was apparently also, like, DMing the letter E to other people, which, I mean, like, it's probably, like, the most, like, harmless thing someone could do. And the reason... Jim was banned in their words was drama, beef, insults, and inappropriate language. <clears throat> this gets good. But hours after, hours after, they have a conversation about showing each other their tits, stripping for each other, and talking sexual shit while I'm there not knowing what the fuck is going on. All right, and as a 15 year old, being in a server filled with middle aged um, people, no offense, how are you supposed to engage in a conversation like that? Especially after they ban a 14 year old for saying Rain has a small pee pee. Rain has a small pee pee. You know what? That's going to be the hashtag for this video. Rain has a small pee pee. <laughs> like, you will not know the meaning of this hashtag until you, you watch this video, all right? That's just how messed up this is. Why does someone get banned for saying that someone has a small pee pee? <laughs> and then hours after, you talk about like the like the dirtiest shit like imaginable. It's crazy. Um, anyways, I eventually caught on that Jen and Casual turned from what was a great server for all things blindside to a fuckfest, and I left. Another thing is that anytime I try to engage in a conversation, I always get belittled like I'm just another child to their eyes just because I'm 15 years old. Basically, what I'm saying is that, like, I just cannot be taken seriously because I'm 15 years old, and that anytime that they, you know, talk to me, I feel like I'm always being treated like a child or like they're a parent to me, and I, it, it just seemed very disrespectful. I thought that that was very disrespectful. Now, maybe they were trying to be kind or something like that, but I found that to be very disrespectful as, it's, you know, they weren't really taking me seriously, and that's just what I felt. Uh, 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 I mean, uh, 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 psych. I ain't running. I'm no pussy. thing they don't know is that uh, when I know shit is hitting the fan, I'm the first one to catch on. And that's why I left. Because I could taste corruption as if it was shoved down my throat. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, like, 
I was being treated like a child, and um, I could see that they were completely using Blindsight to make this whole group, and speaking of that, I almost joined that group. I was given a mission statement pretty much saying that they wouldn't control anything, they wouldn't be controlling your music, or they wouldn't be controlling like anything, they would just be promoting. And that's what I was told by Jen herself. She gave me a mission statement being like, oh, you know, our main purpose is to promote and to help push other artists, which I thought was great. The thing is though, I didn't like how, how it was made, which is kind of what threw me off. Second of all, I felt like they were treating this group as a label. Like eventually as time went on, I feel like they were treating this as a, as a label. And I was right because word on the street, Jen is pretty much controlling like everyone who who was in BOTV's music. Um, anyways, um, oh, what else to say? So yeah, I was told to join BOTV myself, and I was given a contract that neither Jen nor Kaz would take control of your music and shit, and that it would be a promotion thing only. But you can read this. Maybe you did get sent this or not. Um, I was told by someone that they didn't get sent this, and they just got brought in as a sponsored artist, just like that, which. I know there's a procedure for being a sponsored artist. I, it's just, I don't know. It's it's just very weird. But, um, anyways, in conclusion, Jen and Casual used Blindside's fan base to create BOTV, and turned Blindside Squad to possibly the most corrupt server I've ever come across. It shouldn't even be called Blindside Squad anymore because, duh. I mean, like they're 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 using Blindside for something that is not for Blindside. So, like I would understand if. You know, Blindsight agreed to this, but would you think, like, do you think that Blindsight would agree with this? Because, like, he left the server for a reason. He said that he didn't feel like it was his. Why? Because you two actually made Blindsight leave by adding on channels about yourselves. And that is why I hate you guys. Because you guys are selfish, you guys control other people's uh, music, you guys control, like, the way other people think you guys control the way like you know your artists have to like communicate with other people i mean like i don't know if i'm supposed to talk about this i will let i'm pretty sure they've already said their side of the story i don't know but you can talk to jekyll or you can talk to anyone who was in botv anyone who made a diss track on the botv leaders you can ask them questions about this i don't know if they will be more than happy to respond but you know since i don't know if i should even be able to talk about this i would just let you guys ask them all right because i mean like it's it's pretty much just like a segregation all right the group was basically a segregation and me not even being in the group i i could i could see that from far away because it was sort of obvious seeing the way that i was proposed to join the server and also seeing the way that it was like i have to i have to do all of jen's work like i mean i have to promote at her place like that she, like me not even being part of botb i was asked if i could do that and i was like i don't think i'm gonna have the time for all this like like she was asking me if i could do work at her place like it's it's crazy but you know it is what it is but anyways jen and casual i have one message for you hold on I hope I better not use this mic for anything else. If you twist up my words or if you t get my name twisted in any word you speak, you will regret it. That is all I'm saying. You will not ever want to mess with Loopy ever again. If you ever get my name twisted in any of your guys' mouths, I don't even think I'm relevant to you guys anymore. So. The best thing to do is just not talk about me. Don't comment it's any bullshit, alright? Because the only proof that I have for you guys is the people who joined the server and left because of your actions. You two are the reason why the server that I helped build, by the way, turned into a complete fuckfest and people started distancing themselves away from you because of that. Have a nice day.